This video is going to be a comprehensive guide to using Bajinki Ahashima in your Mermo builds. Uh, I'm not going to focus so much on combo extension with the card, but just as it as part of your starter combos. What I mean by starter combos is if your starter in your hand is either Diva, Neptibus plus Ateni, Neptibus plus Shark Stickers, Neptibus plus Instant Fusion, or even Dragoons plus Minstrel. There's also a whole bunch of other extenders that are non-waters you could also play, but for the most part, if we want to keep our deck consistent with the uh, Megalos and the Tases, we want to keep as water as possible. So each one has a little bit of a difference. All four of the top all function the same because they all have the same water count. Whereas something like this messes with your water count, so you won't be able to use Milan Glacia if you use Menstrual Plus Dragoons. However, if you have Salvage or a Fenrir or some way to mess with two waters in your graveyard, you are able to drop Milan Glacia. For the first combo, which I'm sure many of you already know, it's the Appaloosa combo as shown on many channels. It starts with Diva summoning Neptibus, Neptibus sending Dragoons to buy Dragoons. Dragoons will then add a Lapis Dragon. Lapis Dragon is added here so we can link off both the Diva plus the Lapis, leaving our level one monster on the field to summon the Bujinki monster. I mean, the Christian Hulk of Fibrix. On summon Christian Hulk of Fibrix, we'll summon a tuner from our deck. Our main target will always be Fishborg Launcher because he has the least amount of restrictions. We'll link both level ones off to summon Bujinki Ahashima to the farthest most, most zone. I'm going to use her effect to immediately summon the Dragoons from her hand, as well as the Dragoons from her graveyard, overlaying them for Bahamut Shark underneath the Halka Fibrix zone. We don't want to summon Toad here because this is our only Link zone we have left. We don't want to clog it up with a powerful monster. So Bahamut Shark will detach the Dragoons to summon the totally awesome. Dragoons' effect is detached for cost. We'll search for Milan Glacia, the Elemental Lord. With five waters in grave, we meet the summoning requirements. We can drop the Milan Glacia and take two cards out of our opponent's hand. Put that up here. To follow up this combo, we will use Fishburg Launcher's effect because we have only waters in our graveyard. And then use him plus Bahamut Shark and Halka Fibrix to Link Summon. Opelousa. Both the goddess who has three negates. So this is the standard Diva Ahashima combo. However, it's not the only combo you can do with Ahashima. There's also a few other builds, like one to play around out emancipators, as well as another combo to play around Eldritches. For the second combo, we're incorporating a water extender in place of our diva. That's because Neptibus by himself does not have the third water on the field to leave him on the field to summon the uh, Crystal Hawk of Fibers with Diva and Lapis. So this is going to take the place of our Diva. Now, any extender can work. We kind of prefer a water type, so we kind of don't mess with the grave count too much for Milan Glacia. But if, you're not, if your goal is to not summon Milan Glacia, then any extender works. But for this case, we are going to use uh, Tinny Spirit. He also has some other synergy being a level four free extender with Dragonal. Him plus Dragoons equals combo. Him plus whatever level four equals Pajinki Hashima from your hand, so you don't have to use your Dragoons. So he's just a really good card, probably the best water extender in Mermels if you're playing the Pajinki build. So for this combo, we are going to drop the Tinny Spirit anywhere and normal summon the Neptibus. Neptibus will send the Dragoons to add Dragoons. Dragoons' effect will have the Lapis Dragon, and he will special summon himself from our hand. We will Link both of these off for Christian Hawk of Fibrix. Hulk will summon the level one tuner from our deck. And these will be linked off for Bajinki Ahashima. Ahashima will immediately summon a level four from our hand and a level four from our grave. You can choose any level as long as they're the same level. But the main thing about Ahashima that makes her so good is that if you're playing a deck like this deck where you can easily make multiple level ones with Hulk of Fire, so multiple level sevens with your larger mermails, as well as level threes with the smaller mermails. But we have a struggle making level fours without the use of additional extenders. So this card easily fixes the problem we had with making level fours and our best exceed monster is Bahamut Shark with Totally Awesome because one, it triggers a Dragoon search and two, ends with a negate that can add back any water from our graveyard to our hand. So that's like our main um, combo we're always trying to achieve because it adds so much to the deck. 
Detach the dragoons to summon the totally awesome. Pretty much like I said it, and dragoons will search for Mulan Glacia. Five waters in grave will drop Mulan Glacia. And here's how we're gonna play around um, at Emancipators. I already showed this combo in a different video, but it's good to have all of the Ahashima starter combos in one place just to be a comprehensive guide so you don't have to go, you know, uh, hunting around my channel for all that stuff. We will link off the Bahamut Shark plus the launcher. Remember, the launcher does get banished to summon the artifact Dagda. So basically, during the opponent's turn when they try to do something, Dagda's effect will summon the artifact Scythe from our decks, and the Halka Firebrix will banish himself to Synchro, TG, Wonder, Magician. Wonder Magician will pop the Scythe, and Scythe's effect will summon to the free zone we have in our field to lock your opponent out of extra deck monsters. So this is a good combo to play against out Emancipators. If they drop Dark Ruler No More as their first card, you're kind of out of luck, a sense. But that shouldn't be the case for every single duel. Not a lot of the main Dark Ruler No More. It's more of a side deck card. So this is a good combo to do going first if you don't want to hand loop your opponent. So pretty much like the Tenny combo, you also have an example of Shark Stickers, as well as Instant Fusion as the most common and the most recommended extenders for mermaids. So while this card is a level four that can free summon itself to help make easy rank fours as well as have synergy in your hand with Ahashima, Shark Stickers is a level three that prevents you from using it as synchro material. However, a ruling in North America is that when you normal summon your uh, Deep Sea Diva, when you normal summon Deep Sea Diva, because both of these are win effects, it kind of works that you can order your chain links much very very similar to how dragoons and infantry or dragoons and marksman dragoons and neck business throw mandatory effects but because they're all win effects and they happen at the same clause you can kind of chain block unofficial term but it's pretty much the same with this you normal summon the diva if they don't strike it i mean not strike it they don't solemn it or negate the summon her effect will be chain link one and this will be chain link two because you're ordering your chain links first because they both happen at the same clause so you order your chain links like dragoons or neptibus and then your opponent will then have a chance to respond, but they cannot respond to the after responding to the shark stickers, meaning they can't ash it. They can definitely still impermanence or effect failure because it targets on the field, but this is just some added application with the shark stickers. Um, instant fusion, you could basically summon sea monster Theseus, you can summon rare fish, you can summon mud dragon of the swamp. You can also summon millennium eyes restrict as well as thousand eyes restrict using this card. You just have to work around your graveyard a little bit. So I'm not going to show a whole bunch of these combos because they do the exact same thing as a Tiny Spirit does. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the last combo with Minstrel plus Dragoons. This actually has a few different combos. With Minstrel's Effect, it's a new Deep Sea card. Basically, you're able to look at your opponent's hand and use Confiscation, a banned card, to rip a card out of their hand until the end phase. So we use her effect to clear out a hand trap or an beer or something from the opponent's hand and use Dragoons' Effect to search for Deep Sea Diva. So just like the other combo, we're starting with D.Va. However, we have two extra waters in our graveyard. Unless you have Salvage or Fenrir, which is a level four water extender, you're unable to easily summon Mulan Glacier. So we have to do a different combo. D.Va, we're going to normal summon. Use her effect to summon the Neptibus from our deck. Neptibus' effect will send Dragoons to add Dragoons. Dragoons will add Lapis. Alternatively, there are some other variations of this combo, but this is the essential combo. First summon the Lapis, link off the Diva, and the Lapis for Halka Fibrix. Halka Fibrix will source from the level one tuner from our deck, who we will then immediately link off for Bujinki Ahashima. Very, very similar steps as the other combos. Ahashima will summon the Dragoons from our hand and a Dragoons from the grave to overlay into Bahamut Shark. Remember, underneath the Halka Fibrix zone, so in case you need to link it off, you don't clog your zone with Totally Awesome. We'll detach the Dragoons to summon the Totally Awesome and search for a Sea Serpent. Now, if you see here, we have seven waters in Grave. So if you have Salvage or something, you can add back the Diva plus the Deep Sea Monster, both Deep Sea Monsters. But we don't have that, so we're just going to search for a Deep Sea Diva instead as a follow-up play. From here, we'll use Launcher's Effect to special summon himself. And you could do one of two things. You could go into Artifact Dagda using... Bahamut Shark plush fish bork, so you can go into the scythe lock, or alternatively, you can link off 
all three monsters, Hauka Fibrix, Bahamut, and Fishborg, to summon the Appaloosa, though, of the goddess. So in this combo or use Menstrual, you can guarantee your opponent's not going to hit you with a hand trap. If they have two, then tough luck. But you definitely have a follow-up play next turn, and if you do get rid of the Totally Awesome, you can add back one of your three Dragoons. You have to make sure, if you're going to Normal Summon the Diva, that you have enough targets for your Atlantean Prince. Obviously, Pot of Avarice helps fix all of our problems by giving us more cards in our hand and putting back the Dragoons. But just be mindful to have at least one infantry and one Marksman or two infantry in your main deck. So you want to learn how to play against Eldritch. One of the simpler ways to play around Eldritch when you're going first is this combo. Now, there are some issues with it. It's much better if you have two extra waters in hand and not one. You do need this water because you are searching Abyss Megalo to discard and, you know, play your combos. But if you have, let's say, two waters in hand, you don't have to link off your Totally Awesome in order to do the full combo. Meaning you still have some form of a negate to stop the Eldritch Golden Lord from discarding himself to pop your Trisbania. So I will show you both one with one extra water card and one with two blank water cards. For the one water, we will normal summon the Diva and use her effect to special summon the Neptibus from our deck. Neptibus will send Dragoons to add Dragoons. Dragoons effect will add the Lapis Dragon. Lapis will special summon himself because he was added, and we'll link this with Diva off for Christron Help with Fibrix. Hagafiris will summon the Fishborg Launcher from our deck, and we will link both level 1s off for Bajinki Ahashima. Ahashima will source some of the Dragoons from our hand and a level 4 water from our grave, the other copy of Dragoons, to be immediately exceed summoned into Bahamut Shark. Bahamut will detach a Dragoons to summon the Totally Awesome. Now, because Eldritch's cards get their effects from, you know, banishing themselves from the grave, we're not going to search Mulan Glacia here. That's just a death sentence. Instead, we are going to search the Mermel Abyss Megalith. Now, we have five waters in graves, so if you deal with Mulan Glacia, obviously you could summon a Banani against Eldritch. So if we had the extra water in our hand, I would definitely recommend just from here discarding both random waters for the Abyss Megalo. Because if you don't have that extra water, you will have to link off the Totally Awesome to add back a Dragoons. So in that sense, with Diva plus extra water, we will link off the Bahamut Shark with the Totally Awesome into, for example, any link to, you could also, you know, go into a Abyssalatia, a Dagda, anything you really want or need to summon. I guess in this case, just for example, we'll summon the Dagda. It's not too important because you're not going to be able to equip anything to the Abyssalatia because we're going to be searching for Abyss Sphere. So link those two off. Totally awesome. We'll add back the Dragoons. Well, what do you know? Let's go into Abyssalatia instead. So put that back. Retcon. We'll go into Abyssalatia and we'll add the Dragoons back off of the Totally Awesome. We will special summon. Uh, we're actually going to put this in the middle zone. I'll show you why. We are going to use Megala's effect, discarding both the Dragoons and the water to search for the Abyss Sphere. Whereas the Dragoons we just discarded will search for the Atlantean Heavy Infantry. From here, we can use our Fishborg Launcher to spread some itself and send both this and Halka Firebrix to the graveyard. Launch will be banished to special summon the Trisbania from our extra deck. And so from here, we have one interruption with the Abyss Alicia as well as the set Abyss Sphere so that when the opponent's turn comes around, you can use the Abyss Sphere to special summon a Mermel from our deck and banish all spell and trap cards on the field, as well as the monster it points to. This is one way to help play around um, Elvages. Obviously, we don't want to link off the Totally Awesome, but we kind of have to if we're only stuck with a Diva plus water. If we had a Diva plus two waters, we wouldn't have been able to search the Heavy Infantry, and instead we would have kept the Totally Awesome on the field, and this would have been our end board instead. If we had a water or two extra waters and our hand plus the diva. I hope this helps answer some of your questions about how to play at a Bajinki Ahashima focused Mermel build. 
it's very consistent because we have like nine ways or actually we have like half our deck is easy ways to go into the monster because deep sleeve is at three and it allows lots of versatility when playing against many decks which is obviously a strong suit in today's metagame 